in this Call of Duty Mobile video, I'm going to show you all the best pistol in the game. There are currently three pistols, the MW11, the J358, and the .50GS, which I refer to as the Deagle. They all have their own quirks and downsides, but only one of them can be the best. In this video, we will discuss just that. Now, before we get into it, if you enjoy COD Mobile content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button because if we look at my YouTube analytics, most people tend to watch my videos and not subscribe, and that makes me a sad boy. So if you enjoy this video, please subscribe because it is completely free and it literally only takes five seconds. It's so easy and you can change your mind at any time. Let's get right into this. Now I think the best way to decide which pistol is the best is by looking at each pistol, looking at their pros and cons, and what makes them different when compared to other pistols. And from there, it'll be much easier to pick the best pistol in the game. So let's start off with the most common pistol in the game, the MW11. The MW11 is a reliable sidearm when you run out of ammo. It has the fastest fire rate of all the pistols, making it very easy to use for both veterans and newer players. It can be pulled out when you are out of ammo, and if your opponent has already suffered a bit of damage, finishing them off with the MW11 will be no problem. The downside to this secondary weapon is that it has the lowest damage per bullet of all the pistols, making it not very effective when trying to kill enemies with full health. However, don't forget, this pistol has one of the most amazing attachments we have ever seen in the game, the lightweight trigger. This allows the MW11 to become a freaking submachine gun, and despite its low damage per shot, this weapon has a terrific time to kill with this attachment. Of course, the other pistols can use the lightweight trigger, but the MW11 is a beast with this attachment. So for the quirk of the MW11, it will be fast fire rate. The next pistol on this list is the J358. This is essentially the counterpart to the MW11. The J358 can be used to take on full health opponents due to its high damage per bullet. The J358 can two shot up to 18 meters. Now here's where the video gets a bit tricky. Two shots up to 18 meters seems awesome, which it is, but you have to take into consideration the fire rate of this weapon. The fire rate of the J358 is remarkably slower than the MW11. In addition, it has a smaller magazine capacity. To take advantage of its two-shot capabilities, your aim must be on point, because the time between shots is huge and your ammo is worth more. So for the quirk of the J358, it would be high damage per bullet. Now onto the last pistol, which is the brand new pistol inside of Call of Duty Mobile, the .50 GS, or the Deagle. This gun is very similar to the J358, low fire rate but high damage per bullet. The difference between this pistol and the other pistols is that you can use the akimbo attachment on this weapon. Two high-powered pistols as a secondary. This is insane, because akimbo deagles can one-shot at close range. Now when I say one-shot, I mean clicking the shoot button once, because every shot quote-unquote is actually two bullets, one fired from each deagle at the same time, as you can see on screen. Keep in mind that the J358 has a slightly longer base range stat than the Deagle and can two shot up to 18 meters. Imagine being able to one shot up to around that range with a secondary weapon. Insane, right? Wrong. These are the Akimbo Deagles we are talking about. Unlike the broken Akimbo Fenix, the Akimbo Deagles have an accuracy that is, well, let's say not so good. Point blank is an easy dub with the Akimbo .50 GS, but past 5 meters, you'll notice many shots going all over the place, which is why when using Akimbo Deagles, you should pull them out when you are in your enemy's face, but when you are engaging an enemy at longer ranges, you will be better off just reloading your primary weapon, especially if you are already behind cover. So the quirk of this weapon is similar to the J358, high damage per bullet, but also the ability to equip the Akimbo attachment. Now comes the big question, what is the best pistol in COD Mobile? Now since comparing the J358 to the MW11, or the Deagle to the MW11 is like comparing apples and oranges, let's start off by comparing the Deagle and the J358, because it's more like comparing red apples to green apples. By looking at the base stats of both weapons, no attachments, we can see that the Deagle beats the J358 in two areas, damage and accuracy. However, the J358 beats the Deagle in three areas, fire rate, control, and range. Now since the stats of both guns are very similar, and their pros and cons are the same, we really have to dig deep down when picking between these two weapons. If you don't want to use a Kimbo, the J358 is your go-to. It has a faster fire rate, and the damage is only slightly lower than that of the .50 GS. 
so the interactions won't change much in terms of shots to kill. In my honest opinion, I still prefer the Deagle as it feels much nicer compared to the J358 in terms of its accuracy and just the overall control and handling of the gun. But the Akimbo Deagles or the Double Deagles? Well, obviously, if you want an up-close monster, the Akimbo Deagles are your best bet. Instant one-shot kill, zero milliseconds, time to kill, point blank. No pistol will beat the Akimbo Deagles in that situation. So what is the best pistol in all of Call of Duty Mobile? It's the MW11. Its insane fire rate with the lightweight trigger is unparalleled. An insanely small but quick assassin paired with an extended mag is a recipe for domination. If you're going for pistol only nukes, the MW11 is really not the best idea because in that case you want a pistol that can deal damage. But in actual games, that's not the purpose of a pistol. As a wise man once said, Remember, switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading. You want a pistol that can quickly finish your opponents when you run out of ammo. You don't want to pick a slow firing pistol as that is going to extend your time to kill, especially if your opponent has already taken damage. The MW11 can be pulled out super quickly to finish the job you started. Although it may not be able to kill in one shot at close range or deliver a two shot kill up to 18 meters, the MW11 is the most versatile of all the pistols and with a satisfactory damage per shot and a dominating fire rate with the lightweight trigger, it becomes easier and easier to see why the MW11 is the best pistol in the entirety of Call of Duty Mobile. So that is my take on the best pistol in COD Mobile. If you have anything to add to the conversation, such as anything I missed, or if you feel another pistol is actually better, comment your thoughts down below. I'm really interested to see what you all have to say. Also, make sure to give the video a like so that this video will be shown to more people, and of course subscribe so you can help me reach my goal of 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Anyway, that's it from me. This is Delta, signing off. Stay on the grind, and I will see you all in the next one.